Police are searching for a killer this midday after the CEO of the Memphis area chamber was shot and killed in downtown Memphis last night. Thanks for joining us this midday. I'm Caitlin Lockerbie. John Paul has the morning off. Local 24 News reporter Gene Francine is joining us live this morning from downtown Memphis where Phil Trenary was murdered. Gene, what are police saying about what happened last night? Okay, the Memphis police tell us that a jogger was running right here along the 500 block of South Front when a male pulled up in a white pickup truck and actually shot the jogger. We later found out the man shot was Phil Trenary, who's head at the Memphis Chamber since 2014. Now, Trenary, a longtime Memphian and businessman, was deeply dedicated to Memphis and downtown. We know the chamber was holding their Move in Memphis for Mile last night, which is a four-mile race that ends at Laughlin Yard. The race started at 6.30 and Trenary was participating in the race. Now, shortly before 8, Memphis police received the call that a shooting happened right here on South Front, a third of a mile away from the race finish line. It was soon discovered Trenary was the victim. He was taken to Regional One Hospital where he died. We just spoke with Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland, who personally knew him. Phil loved Memphis. He was one of the best cheerleaders this city had. And he contributed so much to our community. And I mourn his death. Memphis police are still looking for the suspect this midday. Here's what we know. Police say the suspect is a black male with dreads. He was wearing a blue shirt and was in a white four-door F-150. And Caitlin, this is still a developing story. We're still gathering more information. So as we get more in, you will be the first to know. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Gina Francine, Local 24 Midday. Etrinary's death has shocked the community. The condolences continuing to pour in. Memphis Tourism CEO Kevin Kane has known Trenary for more than 20 years now. He says since his first days here in his adopted hometown working in the airline industry, he's been a champion for our community. This is a devastating loss for our city, and it's hard to imagine a Memphis without Phil in it. Kane goes on to say we will continue the momentum he and his team in the area at the Memphis Area Chamber have created, working together to grow our local economy. Our hearts and our thoughts are with the Trenary family during this very difficult time. And Phil Trenary's death is being felt across the state as well. Governor Bill Haslam tweeting, our hearts are broken with the news of the loss of Phil Trenary. Phil has been a wonderful friend to Chrissy and me and a great advocate for Memphis. Our hearts go out to his family and his associates and the Memphis community. The Nashville Chamber posted, we extend our deepest condolences to Phil Trenary's family and the Memphis community. Phil was a great partner and a great believer in the future of Memphis and the state. He will be missed by those who worked with him in his community and across Tennessee. Democratic Restoration Movement tweeted last night, Phil Trenary, well-respected CEO of the Memphis Chamber of Commerce in Tennessee, was shot and killed by a gunman. The NRA owns this. Hashtag never again. Hashtag gun control now. Well, just a little bit more about Trenary's background for you this midday. He served as the chamber president since 2014. Before that, he was president of Pinnacle Airlines for 13 years. And while with the company, he grew it from a $75 million business to a billion dollar one. As president, he always thought of ways to bring business to the Bluff City, even helping organize the gubernatorial debate in Memphis this past April. Trenary leaves behind uh, three kids as well as a grandchild. He was previously married as well. We'll stay on top of this story on air and online at localmemphis.com.